Hello fellow 3D printers, this is Jay Wall with Print That Thing and today I'm gonna throw some 3D printed nuggets at y'all. Got some welding, some metal bicycles. A team of students at the Delft University of Technology over in the Netherlands has been 3D printing metal bike frames using welding based 3D printing techniques. Working with an Amsterdam company called MX3D, they created a 3D printer that lays down blobs of molten metal on top of one another. No supporting materials are needed and large structures can be created. The arc bike was printed in several sections and then welded together by hand. MX3D is also in the process of printing a steel pedestrian bridge to be completed in 2017. <laughs> Automatic weapons. Gizmodo.com reports a YouTuber, Durwood, has created a 3D printed semi-automatic gun. The Shuddy MP1 is 90% PLA and the remaining 10% is made from store-bought barrel, hammer, firing pin, bolt, and springs. All those components are currently unregulated by law, so it's totally legal. But in order for Durwood to remain out of jail, he'll have to keep these files all to himself. 3D printing 4D printed flowers. Forbes.com tells about researchers at Harvard University that have been creating a 4D flower. Scientists have printed a hydrogel composite that contains cellulose fibrils, printed in a certain pattern that these flowers can change shape when they're submerged in water. They believe that this technology is the first step in exploring the potentials of 3D printing and 4D printing. Eventually, it's believed that they'll be able to produce smart textiles, soft electronics, biomedical devices, and tissue engineering. A few of you have probably already heard of this. This is a Kickstarter campaign. Back in late January of 2016, Microscape shattered their Kickstarting funding goals within a few days by pitching 3D printed models of cityscapes. Using photogrammetry, along with manual modeling to create amazing tiles for the New York City locals, businesses, and tourists. They created an elaborate buzz over the product. They asked for only 8,000 and they raised over 103,000 from the help of 730 backers by late February. And 3dprint.com told us that Stratasys has released their new J750 3D printer, which is a multi-color, multi-material 3D printer series. The J750 claims to allow for 360,000 different color shades and materials ranging from rigid to flexible and opaque to transparent, allowing for rapid prototyping to include realistic models for clients at a faster and more cost-effective rate. Olo Printer. The Olo Printer has been a hot topic for a number of YouTubers and just people on the internet reviewing because of their success on their Kickstarter campaign. For a hundred bucks, you can get a resin 3D printer that fits over your smartphone. Using light blast from your phone screen, the resin cures and is raised off the platform. Uh, users can print 3D models with a maximum volume of 400 cubic centimeters. Makers Muse did a really great breakdown of the company and the product, and you can click right here if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching 3D Nuggets. Uh, subscribe if you want to, and we'll see you next week. Peace.